Good afternoon. It's Anna. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. I just came back from an estate sale. Um, I was going to go to several estate sales, but I, the first one I went to, I, I spent my limit. Actually, a little over my limit, but I'm going to start showing these items soon. I won't be pre-selling hardly any of these, if, if any of them, because I need to research them. There are a lot of things I'm not familiar with here. I, I went to an estate sale in an upscale neighborhood, a multi million dollar home, and I found a couple of amazing things that I know are valuable and the others I need to research. But anyway, some of it will come to my sale um, slash auction on Monday. So let me know down in the comment sections what you like. I come on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time live every Monday and have a buy it now some items are also auctioned but let me get started without uh wasting any more time found some pretty fantastic things like i said some of them i have no idea what they are and i need to look at them um but where do i start let's start with these i don't see a name on these these are a big fantastic pair of lucite clip earrings absolutely amazing those are amazing um, I'm sure these are, uh, you know, something, a design or somebody, uh, a good name, and I don't know. So this is something I want to look at and try to figure out. Um, may take me years. No, <laughs> joking. Um, they're nice. They're very nice. So look at them. Cool. Um, this. I have two of these. I'm keeping one. Um, I don't know who the maker is on them. Again, there is a little mark like on there right there and these are glass these are uh, blown i guess stretched this one's very small this is for a small lady i could squeeze it on my wrist but i will not this is the one i will give for sale when i'm ready if anybody's interested it's amazing i i know it's something amazing this one i'm gonna going to keep again it has the same marking on it and it's pretty cool look at it these are glass. This one I like. I'm going to keep that one for a while because I'm trying to build my collection. Those are both pretty amazing, though. This is fantastic, too. Like, I, everything's fantastic, honestly, to me, or I wouldn't have bought it. This is sterling Portugal, and it's, I guess it's gold gilt. And there is some kind of three of this. Let me show it to you. Sorry, if I, I may have some yellow on my fingers because I need to start wearing gloves when I test. Um, it's embarrassing. It looks to me it is. It looks nasty. Um, but I don't, I don't know exactly. So let's make a small again. There it is. It's a big, beautiful sterling silver for me, I guess it's gold gilt. Um, I think that's supposed to be bent. I need to leave that alone. I'll look at it. Nice, nice, big flowers, like probably three and a half, four inches. Lovely. Daffodil very pretty it has a registration number on it as well i'll look into that she's ad absolutely adorable i don't see a maker's mark on this this is a little mermaid and that's not this is some type of plastic acrylic both pieces she has rhinestones clustered and i don't see a maker's mark on her but i'm gonna look it's adorable i think um look at this this is 925 vermeil this is a Swarovski has this, this one under here as well in 925 and some other marking that I need to look at. I don't know what it is, but look at it. That's, isn't that fabulous? It's a, a ball. I guess that's a fly. It's, I, you know, not big on flies, but this is marvelous. Look at that. Yeah, this is, I was very surprised. I was there and I thought it was going to be expensive, and it was expensive, but not what I imagined for what I got. But, yeah, I did pay up on it because you always, for the most part, do it at estate sales. This is uh, made in Austria. This is fabulous. I believe it's poured glass, um, rhinestones, purple, and clear rhinestones under. But this is like a multi-layered, like, clustered. Look at the back. It's vintage. Marvelous. These are like, these are poured glass over there and it's well made. 
if it had all the spikes up around it, I'd think it was Shriner. Um, or Bear Claw, whatever they call it, Dog. I don't even know what that's called. But anyway, so this is a no-name as well, as far as I can see. But look how fabulous a big, clear rhinestone, fully pronged, marvelous, with a rhodium plating on the back. That's about four inches, three and a half, four inches as well. It's pretty marvelous, I think. Um, this is a belt. This is for a tiny lady. Um, relaxed, I think it's 28. You can move it up to like a 34 comfortably to wear it. believe this is Art Deco. Milk glass that are pronged. And this, again, is for a, a small lady. Um, you know, you know what your waist size is. This would be, I believe, you know, they were worn around like a little dress or something. I can't wear it. I'll offer it. I think it's fabulous. All right. I almost didn't get out of bed to go, you know, thinking maybe I have enough. God, I'm glad I got up today and went. <laughs> I would have been so upset if I wouldn't. I mean, if I would have known. I, I guess Depot's a... France, if that's how you pronounce it, that's just celluloid, D-E-P-O-S-E, -E, France. That's a lovely little celluloid courting couple. It's nice. I've never had one of those either. There's a lot here I've never had. I can honestly say that's a, I'll show that in a minute. There's, there's some fabulousness here. Um, This is, this is nice. She's Japanese, beautiful picture of a Japanese lady but in a frame. I don't see a maker's mark on it. I'll look at it closer. It's about three inches at least. I think that's very nice. This just looks like poured glass as well, or cabochons. We'll call it cabochons, glass cabochons. It's a turtle with green eyes. I don't see a mark on it either on this one, but it's pretty cute. I never pass the animals up, especially when they look like that. Um, this is copper. Right. I have to look at this. It kind of looks like Aunt Jemima, doesn't it? Um, I don't see any maker marks on it, but it's definitely copper and it's cool. You know, I know my eyes getting better for finding things because I walked into the room. Well, here, when I get to the estate sale, I see a dealer up ahead of me and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to get anything. Well, I walk in and on the left, there's a table of gold and silver. Well, mainly silver, some gold. And there was, it was so crowded. She was like, you'll have to go in the other room. And there was jewelry in the other room. I turned to bend and it's two tables full of what I have here, costume. And um, I was able to pick all of this within 10 minutes. So I know my eyes getting, I'm training my eye well by when I'm reading who I'm watching. Um, I'm learning my own experience as well. I do believe, um, I don't think that's an original pin on there. Um, I don't know. I've researched this more, but I am suspecting this possibly is by the feel and look of it truly Art Nouveau, but could be wrong. I will research it. I won't sell it. I'll keep this in my collection for a while. Um, it's fabulous, and, and again, I don't think it's the original pin to it. But that one I will definitely hold on to. Okay, got these eight little boxes. These are like little cloisonne boxes. There's eight of them. Look. I think they're cute. There's some goodness back here, too. Don't go anywhere. You want to hear the names, I'm sure. You will be possibly liking them, um, the names. But I have eight of these. Eight tiny little, like, cloisonne boxes. Just adorable. I like them. Eight of those. I have one of these. This is a courting couple. I guess a pill box. Don't see a marking on it, but it's very ornate. It's nicely detailed and looks like cobalt glass with a spray of gold painting over the top of it. Christian Dior. Lovely Christian Dior. Black enameling. Red, like a reddish fuchsia and then clustered um, crystals. These are crystals as well, but these are Christian Dior. I'll research them for the year. They're clips, gold tone, they're in good shape. There's nothing missing. I will not scrub the stones. Last time I did that, I broke a necklace. But I gave them to a um, subscriber in person. I've, you know, sold things to for a while for a decent price. And I think she was happy because she, she could have it repaired. But I broke stones out of a necklace. It was a nice necklace. This is Czechoslovakia. So some Czech glass there. And 
nice. I think it's nice. It's not real big. It's about an inch and a half, two inches. It's a lovely pin. So happy today. I'll show this one in a minute. Um, it's fantastic. It's enough to make me cry when I tell you who that is. And I don't know the value of it because I can only find one online and I don't think there's a price attached to it. Little purse. Cute. Missing like a couple of little things. They're a bit adorable. It's a little vintage. I think it's vintage. I really don't know. It's just a little purse. I guess it hangs off your neck. It's missing a couple things. I didn't notice that. But at the point when I got up to the register with everything I had, I wasn't returning it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Catherine Popesco, France. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I like that. I think it's very lovely, actually. He, they, he does not have a name on him. I was thinking Joan Rivers, but it's adorable. It's enamel down there, gold-plated. I'll look at it closer. Maybe I'm missing one, but it's just a little bumblebee. I think the fly's absolutely marvelous. Look at that. I just am amazed. I don't even know if I want to sell that. Um, this, again, I... Look, look how that's shining. I, I don't know what that is under there. Is it cracked? I hope not. No, it needs cleaned up a little bit. Just wiped off. It's old. It looks like brass. It can be worn as a pin or a pendant. I like this. I really think it's cool. I'll probably keep this as well to face. Yeah, I'm allowed 10%. That's my rule. Um, she's pretty cool. I don't know what that is called. I can't remember. I think that's... I'll figure it out. I think it's cute, though. This ring, too, looks like a modernist sterling. And I don't know if that's glass or like a carnelian, but I like that. Look. Look at the design on it. This person had exquisite taste in a large variety, as you can see what I have before me. A Florenza brooch, two of the little pearls. This is shell. This is vintage Florenza. Um, it is missing two little pearls, but I will fix those. This is a shell carved cameo. It's missing two there. It's gold plated, signed Florenza over here for copyright. It could be worn as a pendant pin i can easily fix those i just have to look for the right vintage i gotta find somebody that sells stuff like that somebody was telling me there's a guy named a stone guy but he said he doesn't know if he's around anymore vance authentics i this is antonio i thought it was cool it's a larger like three and a half inch bridge so i picked it up i don't think it's one's in particularly expensive valuable but i'll look it up anyways because i don't know this is lovely um It's vintage. It's uh, Marcusites and Sterling Silver. I thought that was very pretty. Look how it shines. Okay. This is a little Made in India box. I really like it. It's cute. I don't think it's Sterling. Those are glass or stone. I don't know. See, it's a tag. It's cute. I love boxes. I collect them. I don't know who this is. This is all glass or stone. Um, I think it's marvelous, though. It is signed Ed... Ed L L Lassiter or something, 1991. I don't know if this is a homemade piece or an actual artisan who made this. So, this is, again, that's why it's going to be difficult for me to sell some of this because I don't know how to price it. But that's marvelous. That's glass. There's, like, look. It's an artist piece. I like it. Windmill. I have this. Now, this one's very nice, too. I don't see a marking on it, but it's domed. I have purple rhinestones, and these are glass, and then there's faux pearls, and it has a very lovely, like, antique gold color. I don't know who the maker is on it. Okay, this is my biggest find, and there's more here, too. I am, I'll show you. I have a um, Mazer Bros and an old Kenneth Lane that I'll get to. This is Shriner of New York. I could have cried when I saw that because um, I know the value of it. My very first Goodwill bag that I bought, I had a Shriner of New York that was missing a stone. I sold it for less than what I could have, but quick five minutes. This I don't, I need to find it. It's rare. Um, I need to price it and then I will put it online. And there's the tag. I saw one on Worth Point with no pricing, but that's Shriner of New York. I gotta figure out what it's worth. I will sell it, but it, I'm selling it for what it's worth, definitely. All right, nice, this is nice. Amber, 
nice chunk. Kind of like the one I wear on my neck, actually, but, you know, not overly treated. Those are natural. I get, they call it sunburst. I think it's natural. It's not like the over-treated where you have so many speckles in it. I don't like that amber. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. I like the stuff that's pretty much not as treated. So this has that a vintage clasp on its brass and those pieces. It is um, like honey and cognac, I think. I, I don't know. But it's nice. I think it's nice. And I have this big, chunky um, green turquoise in Sterling Findings. I think that's nice, too. Let me lift up my thing. So I found those, too. Um... It's just lovely. Look at that clasp on that. These are faux pearls. I don't see a maker's mark. I'll look better, but look. But it's nice. I don't know who the maker is. It wasn't a Saks Fifth Avenue box, but I don't think it went to this. I asked her and said she didn't think so. She didn't give me the box. They were holding things in it. All right, so there's that. I don't know. Um, okay. It, it's still nice. I'll pull this one out in a minute and show you that. This is... um. A man, uh, an angel riding on a lion. They need cleaned up a little bit. I just, they're door knockers. These are cool. I, they were unique. That's I need. I can replace that. I'm going to take it out. I can replace the pads. I just bought some. I think it's very cool. Let's see if I can show it. It's an angel riding on a lion or a big griffin. I think it's a lion though. I like those. These are Kenneth. KJL Lucite. These are vintage KJL, not the one with the dot in between each one, but the other KJL. Um, I had to date them to be exact. I think 19, look at that Lucite, 1960s, I think. I don't know for sure. Again, can't name that stuff off the top of my head. I have to read. But I do know the markings a little bit that these aren't the more modern ones, but they're fantastic, aren't they? Look at those. So like I said, some of the things I found in here, I was so excited. I could no, mainly the Shriner, because I know the value of that. <laughs> I don't know exact, but I know it's worth a substantial amount of money. This is M-I-C-A-L-G-O-L-A-N, Macaulay, perhaps. Sounds French, could be wrong. This is marvelous. I believe that's Cornelian and real pearls and some moonstone in there, like hair. It, this is lovely. They're M-I-C-H-A-L-G-O-L-A-N. It's lovely, don't you think? I do. I do, I do. I don't know who the maker is on this. It's costume, obviously, all of this is. Um, but it has some kind of copyright or marking on the back. i got to look it up. Black enameling and gold tone. Lion jewelry. Clip. Paris, not clips. And a spring ring clasp. The chain's very nice. It's a nice necklace. It's well made. I don't... I couldn't find a maker's mark. I, I was working quick before the video, though. I was very excited to show everybody what I found. So I think it's pretty amazing. This is more fantastic. Venus and Cupid, I believe. In, reversed in taglio. Really large pendant, like six inches in marvelousness. Marcosites. That's fabulous. I didn't see anything like this online when I looked. And I've got this, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but there's a poor piece, looks like a piece of poured glass in there, rhinestones and faux pearls. Lovely little dangle with a, like a very nice gold tone on it. Looks like antique or Russian. I can't remember exactly. It's gold plated. Well, it's, called, it's gold tone. We'll call it that. This is the, I have to research this again. I did quick minutes. This is Kenneth Lane. This is vintage Kenneth Lane. Um, I, I saw people have it insanely priced and other people have it priced where it's still very decent pricing on it. But it's his full name. I have to research it again. I'm not big on those, but I believe this is an older one as well. Kenneth Lane. And one of these can come off. It's like a space. Like, you can make this shorter if you want, I think. Look, it looks like there's two on there. But I don't know a whole lot about it. When I was reading briefly, it said gold gilt. I, I don't know. I will research it. But it's kind of plain. I thought it was pretty. It was really nice, actually. He said, I picked all these things up without even looking at names. And then I looked at names afterwards. And I was surprised at the pieces that I picked up that were name, good names. This is... um. You know, this is strung on silk. I don't, there's birds on this. This is, look how cool. 
porcelain, Chinese porcelain, I think. I have to look at it again, like I said, so I won't sell them right away because I don't know exactly what it is and what it's worth. I've had limited amount and I eat. Pretty certain this is something substantial considering where it came from. I mean, something good. Um, and this as well. I didn't get everything. Like I said, I did well, but I did not get everything. Obviously, there were so many people who should have seen it. But I moved fast. I felt too trash. She gave me one. She had to give me another one. Um, this is lovely. This is this feels marvelous and sounds it, doesn't it? Again, I believe it's Chinese porcelain painted. I don't know. I have to look it up. This is very nice. This is a nice, substantial. This is cinnabar. And I think that's onyx on it, but look at it. Yeah, it's a nice one. Nice long necklace. This is Mazer Bruce. Um, I don't know if this is just glass or stone, but here's their mark. There's the marking. M-A-Z-E-R-B-R-O-S. And these are scarabs. I don't know if they're glass or like gemstone. I'll test it. But I thought that was nice as well. Um... That's it. That's enough, I think, right? I got a lot. I have a lot of jewelry here. I'm going to need to research it. I will trickle pieces out a little bit of the time that I'm selling as I can figure out what it's worth. And I have other items to sell as well on Monday. But I'm going to have a good selection. Let me know what you like down in the, um, down below so I can figure out what I'm bringing. And, um, if you know any details about any of it, I'd appreciate if you'd put that down or two. I don't mind having input from other people. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I was so excited. When I picked up the Shriner brooch, um, I, I could have, uh, screamed actually. Um, it's pretty cool. What is it? Mill Fury in the middle. I don't know. It's amazing. I know that. <laughs> All right. I will... I will do a preview video tomorrow, as promised, which is um, Sunday. I'm going to look through this and pick pieces out that I can sell with that uh, easily. You know what I mean? Some of it I'm going to have to look at for a while because I don't really know what it is. You know, and I, I, my goal of selling is is learning as well, you know, of in collecting some. So some of it I'll keep. But anyways, I will have an um, showing of what I'm going to offer tomorrow. Um, sometime in the afternoon and thank you for watching my video um, I appreciate um, the support from everyone who is on my channel and treats me kindly I really appreciate that as well I will talk to you all again tomorrow when I do my preview video thank you